Are you trying to figure out how the heck to make a QR code? Well, if that's the case, you've made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So a few weeks ago, I decided that I needed new business cards. And I saw one of my friends in the online space, she created new business cards and she had a fun QR code on the back. And I was like, that's such a good idea. I want to create business cards with a QR code on the back. But I had no idea how to create a QR code. So I went down the internet rabbit hole and ended up finding two ways to create QR codes and so I wanted to share them with you. So let's just kick it into the screen share. Okay, so right from the jump, both of these ways that I'm gonna show you are free. There are probably other ways to do this. These are just the two ways that I found, okay? So basically the first way is I'm using the Google Chrome browser. If you're not using this browser, I'm not sure if you still have this option. You might be able to like dig around and find out, but essentially if you're using Google Chrome as your browser, what you can do is view the page that you want the QR code to go to when somebody scans it. And so I ended up just creating like a mobile friendly links page that I wanted to put on my business card. You can literally choose whatever page you're trying to drive traffic to. So what you're gonna do is click on these three little dots in the top right hand corner, and then you're gonna come down to save and share. And then you're gonna see another option there where you're gonna see create a QR code. So go ahead and click on that and it's going to generate a QR code for you. So what you can do is you can copy this QR code and then you can paste it wherever you want. So this is just like a Google document just to show you that it works. So basically you can paste it in here. If you're using Canva, you can go ahead and paste it in Canva. You can do whatever you want to, but basically you can paste it wherever you'd like. And then the other option is, is if we do that again, because it disappeared. So save and share and then create a QR code. You can also also download it so that when you download it, we can go ahead and view that file. And then you'll be able to save this QR code and you can drag and drop it and put it wherever you'd like. Now, I know that some of you will probably ask, like, how do I get rid of this dinosaur? To be honest, I don't have a clue. Don't have a clue, couldn't tell you. But if anybody can figure that out, let me know. I think that it might have to do with like just the setting that Google Chrome has and like yours might be a little bit different. I'm not quite sure, but that is essentially one way to generate a free QR code is using the Google Chrome browser. So the second way to generate a free QR code is using an app in Canva itself. So this is actually how I generated my QR code for my business cards because I was just designing them in Canva anyways. But I will say I am using the free account here to show you this tutorial because I also wanted to test to make sure that it was an option for free users too. So you don't have to have a paid plan in order to get this app at the time of this recording. And just know that the process, like if you have a paid account, totally cool, I usually do too. But you also, like it should be the exact same process for the free and the paid account. So basically open up whatever design you wanna go ahead and add the QR code to. I'm just gonna use a blank Instagram post here just to show you this tutorial. So we have our beautiful design right here. And basically what you're gonna do in the left-hand side of Canva, you're gonna click add apps and then you're gonna search the Canva apps and just type in QR code. Once you do that, you're gonna probably see a whole bunch of options. To be honest, the only, like the one that I did is just this simple plain one right here. So you can go ahead and click on that and then it's gonna have you enter the URL that you want your traffic or the people that scan the QR code to be taken to. So in this instance, I would just copy my business card URL that I created on my website, paste it right in here and then click generate code and now it creates a QR code. So notice that there's not a cute little dinosaur in here and maybe the dinosaur doesn't align with my brand. So that might determine which option that you go ahead and use. But essentially with Canva, you can just come in here, you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, you can copy it and then paste it into other designs if you wanted to go ahead and do that. I think that this option is a little bit easier just because I use Canva to design my business cards and like other marketing materials 
materials too. So it is easier just for me to use the app that's already in Canva itself. But if you're not a Canva user, like I said, go ahead and use option one. It really doesn't matter. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure that there's other ways to generate QR codes. I'm sure that these aren't the only two options, but hopefully these options help you get started. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video was helpful and therefore pushing it out to more people that could also find it helpful. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.